As you guys can see, I am about to play the original God of War 3 PS3 game on my Android device. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up a new PS3 emulator for Android devices known as the Olympus PS3 emulator. Now, this PS3 emulator runs the ARM64 build of our PCS3 emulator on Android devices natively without any root. If you guys don't know about our PCS3, it is the world's first PS3 emulator created for PCs and it can finally be played on Android devices with maximum performance using the Olympus PS3 emulator. But before getting started, let me talk about minimum requirements. You will need at least 6 to 8 GB of RAM if you also want to try out this emulator. Also, Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 processor or above. But before getting started, if you guys are new here, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification as I upload similar videos. Let's get started. This is just the part 1 video of setting up this emulator. Later on, I'll be making a gameplay test video where I'll test out God of War 3, God of War Ascension, Last of Us and lot more PS3 games using the Olympus emulator. Now the device that I am using in today's video is my Realme GT7 Pro which has the Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. The RPCS3 port known as Olympus is created by this YouTube channel known as Kira. Though as they speak a different language, I'll be telling you guys how to set up the emulator in English. Now first of all, you'll need two apps that are required to play RPCS3 on Android or Olympus emulator. You need Termux as well as Termux X11. Now for Termux and Termux X11, you can use an app known as FDroid. Both of these apps are completely open source and I am pretty sure that you will be able to add them on your Android devices. Afterwards, we will need to use this script which you are seeing to set up the Olympus PS3 emulator on our Android devices. Copy this entire script, then open the Termux app. Now before we paste our script, we will need to go to the Termux app info. Afterwards, go to permissions and make sure to enable these permissions. Once that has been done, we will simply paste the command that we copied just now. Afterwards, tap on the enter button. Once you enter the code, you will get some yes or no prompts. Along with that, it will take about 2-3 to three minutes to set up this PS3 emulator on your Android devices. So currently it will initialize all the packages afterwards you will get an yes or no prompt you will simply need to type the Y button after a tap on enter and do this following step for all the prompts that you get so your emulator is successfully set up. Once again we have got a prompt, we will type Y and then tap on the enter button and set up everything properly one by one so that our RPCS3 emulator works properly without any issues. Let me also explain what the Olympus emulator actually is. Basically with the help of Termux you can set up a Linux environment and RPCS3 emulator is natively available for Linux in ARM64 version. So so basically the developer has created an RPCS3 port for Android devices where RPCS3 runs on your mobile device in a Linux environment with proper ARM64 support for amazing performance and stability. And here we go guys, our setup for the Olympus PS3 emulator has been successfully completed. Now we will need to simply type the keyword Olympus and then tap on the enter button and here we go, our emulator has successfully started. Now first of all you will need to scroll down to the driver section, afterwards you will need to select the drivers according to to your device specifications. Now for example if you have an snapdragon processor android device go with turnip but if you are using any other android device for example mali gpu or anything else then go with wrapper. I'll also go with wrapper because the device that I'm using has snapdragon 8 elite processor it does not have any turnip drivers. Once that has been done you'll have to go to the first option after a tap on the enter button and that's about it guys your rpcs3 emulator will successfully launch in termux x11. So let's open termux x11 and and as you guys can see, our emulator has successfully started. Now before we start setting up the RPCS3 emulator or Olympus emulator, on our Android device, you will need to hold the Termux app afterwards, go to preferences, go to output and set the display resolution mode as exact. Set the display resolution to 1280 by 720p. Enable all of these options which you are seeing right here. Once that has been done, go to keyboard and make sure to disable this option. And that's about it in terms of Termux X11 settings. Now we will simply go back to our emulator. So now we gotta set up the RPCS3 emulator. Simply tap on I have read everything and then tap on continue button and here we go guys our RPCS3 PlayStation 3 emulators native ARM64 build has successfully started on our Android device. Now you can't really maximize the display because the display will be automatically maximized once you actually start a game but what we'll need to do is set up the PS3 firmware. So we'll go to the file section afterwards make sure to tap on add firmware afterwards go to storage and then go to the second folder make sure to add your PS3 firmware. 
Once that has been done, simply tap on open and RPCS3 will automatically start importing the PS3 firmware. After a tap on OK, and now it will start compiling some PPO models. This process uh, generally depends device to device. If you have a good Android device, it will be done super fast. Alright, guys, it took about three to four minutes for all the PPO models to be compiled on my Realme GT7 Pro. The next step will be to simply tap on this option and afterwards go to the section for adding packages or games inside the RPCS3 emulator. So let's tap here. Afterwards, select the PS3 game that you had dumped on your Android devices. Afterwards, tap on the open button. For today's video, we'll be trying out Sonic CD trial demo game and here we go it has been successfully added on my android device let's select it and afterwards tap on the play button now in my next video i'll be showing you guys the gameplay test of multiple big titles along with best settings but for today's video we'll just be trying out a single game with normal setup for basic understanding of this emulator so once again we'll need to wait for compiling ppu models it will be fast because we are using the arm 64 build of rpcs3 emulator whereas if we try it out on win later android it literally takes half of waiting just to test out ps3 games on android and here we go guys our game has successfully started sega compiling shaders now what i recommend you guys to do is to connect your keyboard or mouse wirelessly to your android device inside the rpcs3 emulator because we don't really have any on-screen touch controls so let's try pairing my keyboard to my android device yep guys i have everything ready once that has been done our keyboard will be successfully connected so here we go we'll reopen our sonic game and afterwards you guys will be able to see our keyboard i'll just go ahead and press the enter button on my keyboard and here we go our game has successfully started i'll be able to use the arrow keys as you guys can see to move through the game mode so we'll simply tap on start game tap on the enter button and our game should successfully start now this is just a floating window you can keep it aside doesn't really matter we'll tap the enter button once again to skip the cutscene and here we go guys our game has successfully started we'll be able to control our character using the arrow keys and everything works guys just take a look at this we are literally emulating a ps3 game on our android device later on i'll be showing you guys how to set up performance overlay as well so that you will be able to see how much fps do you guys actually get while emulating a ps3 game so that's going to be it for today's video guys thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time peace out